Uh, g'day there, boys and girls. Uh, Arnie here again. Uh, welcome back to the shack. Uh, would you like to go from being just an ordinary person uh, to someone who is amazing for Jesus? Uh, we'll stick around and find out how you can do it. something amazing for God? Oh, of course you can, Shane. But how old do I have to be? And, and how long do I have to wait? Oh, you can start right now. Right now? Yes, of course, Shane. You know how the saying goes. Actions speak louder than num. Oh, what was the ending again? I know that one, Dad. Actions speak louder than words. Oh, uh, yes, that's it, Shane. Uh, do you know what that means? Well, it means that we shouldn't just talk about something. We should actually do it. You're exactly right, Shane. We should show by our actions that we mean what we say. So what can I do that is amazing for God, Dad? Well, Shane, you need to ask God what he would like you to do. Look around and see where there is a need. Remember, nothing ventured. Nothing, um... Oh, uh, what was it? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, Dad. That's right, Shane. Oh, uh, there are many stories in the Bible about kids who made a difference for God. There was the little maid who told Captain Naaman about God. Uh, there was David the shepherd boy who killed a giant and saved his country. And there was also Joash who was only seven years old when he became a king and rebuilt God's temple. Well, I know I want to do something for God, so I'm going to ask him right now to show me what he wants me to do. Good idea, Shane. Dear God, I know I want to do something for you, 
uh, something that's not just ordinary, uh, but something that is amazing and makes a real difference. Uh, please show me what you want me to do. Uh, thanks, God. Amen. Amen. Well done, Shane. Uh, what should I do now then, Dad? Well, Shane, watch and wait for the opportunity that God is going to send your way. Now, good day there, everyone, and welcome to Balloon Kaboom. And uh, again, I've got my friend with me, Pastor Darren. How are you going today, Pastor Darren? Good, thanks, Arnie. Hi, boys and girls. Yeah, now we're going to make another balloon today. Well, what's it going to be? Well, today I thought we'll make an Australian creature. Oh, an Australian animal. That'd be fantastic. Got a grey balloon. Yeah. I'm going to inflate it. Right. I'm going to start with a head. Right, get a head start. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. One bubble, two bubbles. Right. We're always bubbling here. <laughs> Three bubbles. Yeah. Four bubbles. Bubbling over. And join those two bubbles together. Yeah. Twist them together. And there's the head. But now it needs a body. Right. Got a nice long body. Yep, always good to have a body. That's, <laughs> that's mm. right, Arnie. So I'm going to start the body at the bottom end. Right, at the bottom. Tie it in. Back to the neck. Back to the neck. Back to the body. Mm. Are you guessing, boys and girls, what it might be? And back again. Right. Knot it in. Yep. And pinch twist the end of that bow. Ah, okay, and pinch twist. Yep. Now, I don't think it's finished, boys and girls, but uh, do you know what it is? It okay. also has a mm. nice long tail. Tail. Mm. I'll put a tail on. Right. So it's got heads and tails. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay, join the tail in. Right. And we'll go about there. Mm -hmm. Don't need that bit. Yeah, just break that off again. Break it off. Yep. And tie it in. But he also has some short, stumpy legs. Short, stumpy legs. Mm. So one pair for the front. Right. And, and they are short and stumpy. Another pair for the back. Right. Two at the front and two at the back. Give him some mm. eyes. Oh, some eyes. Have you, have you guessed, boys and girls? An Australian animal. Okay. Yep. And there he is. Well, wow. so that's finished. Almost finished. Almost finished. Oh, okay. What, what, what else are you going to do, Pastor Darren? I'm going to turn balloon from just an ordinary yeah. animal right. to something amazing. Oh, something amazing. That's right. Wow. Because this animal, yeah. when it puts, it blows out its beard, right. it becomes amazing. So watch this. So it looks amazing. That's right. So I'm going to put a beard onto so, this animal. It's got a, got a beard. Mm. It has a long, slivery yep. tongue. Oh, a big, big tongue. Mm. That, that might be to catch his lunch with. Do you guess, boys and girls? It's a, a crocodile. Crocodile? Yeah. Do crocodiles blow out a beard? Although crocodiles are a reptile, you're getting close. This is a lizard. Oh, it's, it's a lizard. That's right. Oh, well, then I know what it is. What is it? Oh, I've got these around on the farm. It's a bearded dragon lizard. It's a bearded dragon yeah. lizard. Bearded dragons are amazing. They are amazing. They look pretty ordinary, blending into the bark. But when they're alarmed or excited, they blow out their beard and they blow up their body and they become absolutely amazing. You know what, Arnie? What? When we have God in our life, mm -hmm. we can go from ordinary to amazing too. Yeah, yeah, we can. Just like the bearded dragon. Well, how about that? Got to take him? Oh, I love to take him. And give him to Ranger Hardy. Yeah. And um, I, I'm gonna. Can I name this one too? What's his name? I, it's a French name. French name. Yeah, Lazard. What's that mean? I'm gonna call him Lazard. Lazard. Yeah. 
Anyway, boys and girls, it's time to go. So from Balloon Kaboom, uh, we'll catch you next time. Uh, see you again, Pastor Darren. Bye, Arnie. Yeah. Bye, boys and girls. Yeah, thanks for this uh, bearded dragon. Come on, Lazard, let's go and see Ranger Hardy. See you, kids. <laughs> yeah, good on you, Lazard. <laughs> G'day boys and girls, and welcome to Get Active with PJ. Today I'm going to play some scoop ball with my friends. Look boys and girls, I can flip the scoop over without the ball falling out. Are you ready Lisa? Oh, hit me in the head. Ready? I missed it. Now it's my turn to throw it back. That didn't go very far. I nearly got it. Throw it to me, Leighton. It bounced out. Okay, Abby, it's your turn now. Whoops, straight over my head. Now Janelle's throwing. Where did that ball go? Woo, I caught it. Yay, yay. Now it's my turn to throw it. Janelle nearly got it. Nice throw, Lisa! Whoops! You're really good at this, Lisa! Yeah, I got it! We're getting really good at this now! Abby and Joey are practicing too! The ball got stuck! Takes a bit of practice, Abby. Thank you for joining me on Get Active with PJ. I'll see you next time. Bye. Now, where did that ball go? Hi, my name is James. I'm going to teach you how to make bottle skills. What we need is six empty bottles, paint and a paintbrush. Start by painting the bottle. Amazing. Okay, let's get started. Are you ready, Hans? We already have a bowl of water now, Hans. So can you please bring me some paper clips? What have you got there, Hans? Oh no, no, no! I asked for some paper clips, not paper ships. Thank you, Hans. Much better. Now, boys and girls, if Hans drops this paper clip into the bowl of water. Do you think it will sink or float? Okay, Hans, drop the paperclip into the water. Look at that! As you would expect, the paperclip sinks. What we are going to try to do now is to make the paperclip float. Hans, can you please get the paperclip out of the water? Thank you, Hans. Now we need to get some tissue paper and a pencil which has an eraser on the end. 
Hans, please gently drop the tissue paper flat onto the surface of the water. Now very carefully, place a dry paper clip on the tissue paper. Try not to touch the water or the paper. Very good, Hans. Now, Hans, use the eraser end of the pencil to carefully push the paper, not the paper clip, until the tissue sinks. Will you look at that, boys and girls? The paper clip is actually floating on the surface of the water. The surface tension keeps the paper clip floating. It's like a layer of skin on the surface of the water. The water molecules hold tight together. If the conditions are right, they can hold tight enough to support the paper clip. Amazing, isn't it? You know, boys and girls, it's a bit like our life. We can be ordinary, like when we first put the paper clip onto the water. Or with Jesus in our life, we can do amazing things for him. Like when the paper clip was able to float on the surface of the water. Don't settle for ordinary, become amazing for Jesus. Thank you for watching, boys and girls. I am Professor I.R. Weiss, and I will see you next time. Now, hearts, it's time to get all those paper clips. Oh, no, 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 no. Not float the paper ships. Although that does look fun, hearts. Let me try that. Good day, boys and girls. Ranger Hardy here once again. I found a fascinating creature to show you today. This creature lives in Australia. It has four legs, a tail, and it's a reptile. It has scales and it is cold-blooded. Can you guess what it is? It's called a bearded dragon. A bearded dragon is a lizard. It lives in rocky areas and it's a good climber. Bearded dragons eat both plants and animals. He loves to eat crickets. These animals have a lifespan of about 10 to 15 years. This little fella's name is Oscar and he's a pet. Because these creatures are protected in Australia, you need a special license to keep a bearded dragon. Anyway, gotta go now and catch up with that tight schedule. I'll catch you later. Sensational! Hey, Dad! What is it, Jane? I was walking home from school today, and as I walked past old Mrs. Smith's house, I saw her standing at the front of her house uh, looking at her garden. It's pretty overgrown with weeds everywhere. Uh, she looked very sad. I called out and said hello and asked if she would like some help pulling the weeds out of her garden. Mrs. Smith said that would make her really happy to have her garden looking nice again. Although she had tears in her eyes when she said it. Jane, they would have been tears of joy. I told her I would just have to check with you and Mum first. You did the right thing, Shane. I am happy for you to go back and help Mrs. Smith with her garden. You know, Shane, your prayer is starting to be answered. Uh, what do you mean, Dad? Well, Shane, uh, you are making a difference for God. Uh, how's that, Dad? Well, you saw someone who needed help, and you showed that you were willing to do what Jesus would have done if he was here. How does that saying go again? Hmm, practice uh, what you... Uh... Uh, you mean practice what you preach, Dad? Yes, that's right, Shane. You just keep your eyes open to all the opportunities that God will send your way to make a difference for Him. I sure will, Dad. Uh, this will be fun, because I want to go from being just an ordinary kid to becoming amazing for Jesus. I'm proud of you, son. Uh, keep up the good work. Thanks, Dad. Uh, anyway, I better go because Mrs. Smith will be waiting for me. Uh, see you later, Dad.
Now you know, boys and girls, uh, Jesus has designed us individually with unique gifts and talents. And he has an amazing plan for each of our lives. Uh, we just have to ask him and then take the time to listen and follow his leading in our lives. Uh, in the Bible, in Jeremiah 1, 5, it says, uh, Before I made you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I chose you for a special work. Uh, isn't that so exciting? Uh, you can go from being ordinary uh, to being amazing for Jesus. Uh, ask Jesus today to help you find his amazing plan for him. Uh, you can start right away by looking around and seeing what a difference that you can make, uh, like Shane did. Uh, anyway, i uh, got to go now, uh, so I'll catch you later on uh, next time. Bye.
gonna have a good time too. We'll see you back at the shack with Arnie again. We'll be looking out for you. We'll see you back at the shack with Arnie again. We're gonna have a good time too. We'll be looking out for you. When we're back at the shack, back at the shack. We'll see you later, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we've had lots of fun, and we'll see you back at the shack uh, next time. Yeah, uh, catch you later. Uh, God bless. <laughs>